this brings us to our next bout of the evening. This is your next semifinal bout in the King of Sparta Lightweight Tournament. This is a kickboxing bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Brought to you by Sparta Auto, Sparta Media, and Sparta Coffee. Out of the red corner, Luis Pena. Well, Luis Pena is coming out in the last fight that he was in was a split decision loss to Will Brooks. I called that fight. Former UFC fighter trying to fight his way back. That's the kind of level of talent we're looking at here. And Mr. Violent Bob Ross. Violent Bob. <laughs> Possibly the best nickname in all of combat sports. Pretty silent, too, when he came out. Really big for this weight division. I mean, yeah. the length, he's like a spider monkey. Ex I'm telling you. Exceptionally tall. Yeah. And he gets on your, if he gets on your back, you got problems. Oh, so, a little we different. won't see that in kickboxing. Obviously, <laughs> obviously, LT and Anthony Deal wanted to fight in the cage. And this fight's taking place in the ring. So, I guess a preference for the fighter. Yep. Over the top rope goes Pena. This guy's a real deal. There's no doubt about it. Out of the it. blue corner, David Payne. And he is the number two seed versus the number three seed coming into the ring right now, Mr. David Payne out of Colorado Springs. He's the fighter that you guys talked about that took this bout on two, two days. days notice. I mean, come on. Mr. Payne, I'm going to list him as one of the most underrated fighters in Colorado. Uh, trains, I know, with Victory MMA, and you see Gilbert Smith yep. in his corner right there. So he's always in the gym, always training high-level athletes, always keeps himself in shape, and there we see him. So David Payne is the elder at 39 years old versus the younger Payne at 29. Talk about how tall Payne was. He comes in at 6'3". It's oh, my goodness. Yeah. For 155 pounds versus the 5'9 Payne. Um, Payne with the 0-3-1 and one boxing. Experience in uh, pro MMA, very good at 11-4. Pro kickboxing, 3-1. and one. Lists himself as a striker wrestler. That's what you want to be in a tournament like Absolutely this. Absolutely, you do. David Payne, good boxing experience, professionally 1-2. and two. Not as much MMA experience at 3-2-1, and one, but as a pro kickboxer, he is undefeated at 2-0. and zero. The fact that he took, that he stood up in this bracket and came in with these guys yeah. on two days' notice, come on. Yeah. Obviously, he keeps track of himself, but he keeps himself in shape at all times. A little bit of hyperbole, but uh, basically saved, saved the tournament by being willing to step up and make it so that we could have at least four people in here. Absolutely. And and, and what you got to be, you got to have to show some respect. And if, if that's what you look like on two days notice. <laughs> wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your next King of Sparta lightweight semifinal kickboxing bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the King of Beers Budweiser red corner. He holds a professional record of 11 wins and four losses. Stands six foot three inches tall, weighed in at 156 pounds with West Side MMA from Ward, Arkansas, Luis Violet Bob Ross Pena. <laughs> Fighting out of the Larry H. Miller Volkswagen of Lakewood Blue Corner. He holds a record of three wins, two losses, one draw. Standing five foot nine inches tall, he weighed in at 152.4 pounds. With Victory MMA from Colorado Springs, Colorado, David Payne. Coming in at 152, about 152.9. Well, I was going to give Israel Taylor the coolest trunks of the night award with the fur running down the side of his trunks. 
But I think David Payne has you know a key with the Japanese Dragon I, Louie Tide I think you do. I think you're right. <laughs> well, I, thought, I, thought well the fur, I thought the fur was going to win it. Uh, I'm ready. thinking these trunks are cool. Fighter ready. Fight. Payne versus Pena. Pena has the red tape on his gloves. And Pena's big. I mean, for a 155-pounder, he hydrates up. Look at that jab. Nice counter by Payne. Pain to the body. You can see the skill of these two fighters. Front snap kick by Payne. Mentioned it as Payne was coming out. Ooh, good head kick there by yeah. Payne. Uh, Gilbert, so Gilbert Smith in the corner of Payne, former UFC and Bellator veteran, so no short of his experience over in that corner. Boy, Payne blocked that was quick to do so. Yeah, just technically has his guard held very precisely. I mean, listen, you're looking at a guy that, that didn't go out, he didn't lose his way out of the UFC. Legal problems cost him his UFC. And he, he is a hell of a fighter. Oh, a, good jumping oh, in, that's man. gonna be it. That's gonna be it. Exceptionally wow. well targeted. Yeah, and that's goodness, it. And uh, goodness, Doc's in the, in the ring. Helping Payne find his bearings. Yep. My That's... goodness, Mr. Pena showing us why he's UFC level. Yeah. Because he threw that with precision, accuracy, speed, and power. Yeah, game over on that one. And, I mean, that's what that knee can do. And when you're at that level, you see the talent level as good as Payne is. And taking something on short notice like this. Hold on. And checking it out here on the replay. And uh, Pena flashed that knee early on. And again, it was it was a matter of the length and just skipping in, lifts that knee up, knee meets head, and wow, what a beautifully timed technique. Yeah. Very technically precise by Mr. Pena. David Payne up on the stool, getting his bearings about him, and. You can see a little bit of a disappointed look on his face. Obviously, would have loved to step in and be the Cinderella story as the underdog, but we're going to see uh, Mr. Pena in the finals against Smash. Well, and we thought that might happen. David Payne came out and really gave a good accounting of himself. But when you're, you're, you're in with the world-class fighter who's been training hard, I think I called his fight in uh, July. I think it was July 23rd. So he's been active. He hasn't been inactive. There it is. And, and he, he knew immediately. You saw the, the hands action coming and then the precise, the precision of that knee. Wow. Give it up for David Payne, man. And he's up off the stool, so glad to see that. Doc tending to him, Doc Alex Constantinides, our ringside physician here uh, this evening and quite frequently, in fact. All right, Oscar Martinez is going to bring the fighters to the center here and get the official time. And yeah. wow, what a way to advance in the tournament. Speaking of tournament, Pena didn't have to give a whole lot of output, didn't suffer any yeah. damage. That's a big point there. That's a big, big, and MMA's next. All right, to the center. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Oscar Martinez called a stop to this bout. One minute, one second into the first round, declaring your winner by knockout, Luis Violent Bob Ross Pena! We will see him wow. again. Impressive, no doubt.